Ladies and gentlemen, today Corvette World got their first C8 Corvette Z06 in, and we're going to find out where this car is going to land on the used market. So let's get going. All right, guys, so I'm here. I'm going to go inside and check out this beautiful C8 Z06. If you're excited about this, though, give it a thumbs up and let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I am on the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame Museum showing you this beautiful 2023 C8 Corvette Z06 with the Z07 package and it's a 70th anniversary edition plus $25,000. This is coming to an end. There's only 12 days left in this giveaway. It will close on August 13th and the drawing date is August 19th. So because you are Brink of Speed watchers, you will get 40% more by clicking my link in the description and the pinned comment. But good luck everyone, this is gonna be a sweet ride to win. All right. So we got a packed Corvette World and somehow they've hidden the Z06, but it's right there. So check it out, guys. Corvette World's first C8 Z06. There's not even a price on it yet. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. You know, a lot of you are gonna say, well, yeah, they're gonna sell it for way more. That's how the market goes. In 2020, when the C8 first came out, David, the owner, waited till I think June or July of 2020 to get a C8 Stingray. And when he did, he had to pay like 20K over for it. And then he made, you know, he sold it for like six or seven over that. But that's how this is gonna go. I have no idea what they paid over for this yet. And I have no idea what the price is yet. So let's just take a look at the car and have some fun. Right off the bat, we know it's not a Z07 car. However, I do see that it has the carbon flash painted carbon fiber wheels. And it does have the carbon ceramic brakes as well. So this is already a really loaded up car. Looks like it's a three, yep, it's a three LZ as well. Black interior with the red stitching, GT2 seats. And this is a convertible as well. And it does have the low carbon fiber wing instead of the Z07 wing. And it is torch red. And let's see. Let's see how many miles are on this thing. One hundred and thirty miles, guys. This thing is brand spanking new, not even broken in. So you'll notice right away it's got the stealth interior. Over here as well, you can see it. I love the red stripe on the carbon fiber steering wheel. Now it does not have the carbon fiber package one or two. So there's no carbon fiber here and none on the doors either. Just on the steering wheel and the GT2 seat. Now, because this is a 3LZ, you're gonna see the suede on the B pillar, on the A pillar as well and then on the roof as well. And they went ahead and went with the red seat belts, which look really, really good in this car. I'm loving every bit of this spec. Love to own them. How about you? Don't you guys just love that? I'm a huge fan of the convertible top coming off and going back on. So cool, especially on a beautiful new Z06. So another thing I noticed is it does have the black tip exhaust. You guys know I love that. That's what I would do on mine as well. Back to the carbon fiber wheels here. The dead giveaway that these are carbon fiber is this white stuff right here. They had to put that as a heat protection for the actual carbon fiber. So you definitely want to keep that clean, keep that white to keep the heat away from the carbon fiber. But as you can see, they are painted carbon flash. 
But those wheels by themselves are $10,000. The carbon ceramic brakes are $8,400. This carbon fiber low profile spoiler is $5,900. I think it's almost, I think it's $6,000. So just those three things alone, you're looking at $24,000 in upgrades. And then convertible, $7,500. And uh, a few upgrades on the interior as well. And not to mention the red calipers on this car. So I don't like that it doesn't have a front lip splitter. I would have definitely paid to have that. It just, to me, you guys let me know what your opinion is, but that just doesn't look right to me without a carbon flash front lip splitter. Especially because you've got a carbon fiber beast of a rear spoiler, and then you've got the beautiful side rockers. So you need that to complete it. He did do the painted, or the uh, carbon flash mirrors. So there is no red on the mirrors. And this vehicle is bone stock. The gentleman who bought it only drove it one time, never washed it, and just set it in his garage. So he decided he didn't want it anymore, brought it to Corvette World, and sold it to him. What a beast. So today I do not have time to go over any inventory. I just wanted to come up here real quick and show you guys the brand new Z06. It's their first one. We'll see what happens after this if they start getting more and more. But if you're interested in this car, make sure to click the description down below. If you don't already know how to get a hold of Robert or Jim, click that area down there below. The phone number's there, the website's on there. Give them a call and let them know that you want this car. Okay, so obviously as Mike Long explained, this is our very first C806. We just got it in. Our owner will be in tomorrow. We will have pricing and it will be posted. So today, as we're filming this August 1st, August 2nd, it will be posted with price on our website. So again, after you guys are watching this, check out the link below for CorvetteWorldDallas.com. Can't miss it. It's the only C806 we got. And uh, look it up. You'll have our price posted. If you're interested in this car, call, ask for me, Robert. I'll get you squared away. Awesome. Thanks, Robert. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to The Brink of Speed, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you guys out on the road.